Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both intriguing and important, rabies. Rabies is a viral disease that has captured human attention for centuries due to its mysterious nature and serious consequences. In this video, we'll uncover the facts about rabies, including its causes, symptoms, and most importantly, how to prevent it. So, let's get started. What is rabies? Rabies is a viral zoonotic disease that affects mammals, including humans. It is caused by the rabies virus, which belongs to the Rhabdoviridae family. The virus primarily targets the central nervous system, leading to severe neurological symptoms. Rabies is typically transmitted through the saliva of infected animals, often through bites or scratches. Once symptoms appear, the disease is almost always fatal if left untreated. Common carriers of the virus include dogs, bats, raccoons, and skunks. About Causal Agent of Rabies The rabies virus is a member of the Rhabdoviridae family and has a distinct bullet-like structure. Envelope The rabies virus is enveloped, meaning it is surrounded by a lipid bilayer membrane. This envelope is derived from the host cell membrane during the process of viral budding, when new viral particles are released from infected cells. Glycoprotein Spikes The viral envelope is studded with glycoprotein spikes, often referred to as G-proteins. These spikes are essential for the virus's attachment to specific receptors on the surface of host cells. Nucleocapsid Inside the viral envelope, there is a central core called the nucleocapsid. The nucleocapsid consists of the viral RNA genome surrounded by multiple copies of the nucleoprotein, and protein. This helical structure gives the virus its characteristic bullet-like appearance. RNA Genome The rabies virus has a single-stranded, negative-sense RNA genome. This genome contains the genetic information necessary for the virus to replicate and produce new viral particles once inside a host cell. The genome encodes several viral proteins, including the N protein, phosphoprotein, P, matrix protein, M, G protein, and the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, L. Matrix protein, M. The matrix protein lies between the envelope and the nucleocapsid. It plays a role in maintaining the shape of the viral particle and facilitating the assembly and budding of new virions from the host cell. Unique glycoprotein spikes of rabies virus and ability to invade the central nervous system make it a highly dangerous pathogen, causing rabies, a severe and often fatal neurological disease in mammals, including humans. How Rabies Virus Transmits to Human Bites and Scratches The most common way the rabies virus is transmitted is through bites and scratches from infected animals. The rabies virus is present in the saliva of infected animals and can enter the body through open wounds, mucous membranes, or even intact skin if the animal's saliva comes into contact with the eyes, nose, or mouth. Saliva contact. Direct contact of your mucous membranes, such as the eyes, nose, or mouth, with the saliva of an infected animal can also lead to transmission. For example, if you touch an open wound and then touch your mouth without washing your hands after handling a rabid animal's saliva. Mucous membrane exposure. Rabies transmission can occur if infected saliva comes into contact with mucous membranes or broken skin. This can happen, for instance, if a person is licked by an infected animal on an area with mucous membranes or broken skin. Inhalation of aerosols. Although extremely rare, there have been cases of rabies transmission through the inhalation of aerosolized virus in laboratory settings or in caves with high bat populations. It's always important to seek medical attention if there's a possibility of exposure to the rabies virus. If you've been bitten, scratched, or come into contact with the saliva of a suspected rabid animal, seeking prompt medical attention is crucial to prevent the development of the disease. How Rabies Virus Cause Disease, Pathogenicity in Human The rabies virus causes disease in humans by targeting the central nervous system, CNS, which includes the brain and spinal cord. The virus has a specific affinity for nerve cells and has a unique way of entering and spreading within the nervous system. Entry Through Nerves after the rabies virus enters the body through a bite, scratch, or other exposure to infected saliva, it begins its journey by infecting local muscle cells near the site of entry. From there, it enters peripheral nerve endings at the site of exposure. Retrograde Transport The rabies virus has a unique ability to travel along peripheral nerves in a retrograde direction, which means it moves from the site of exposure back towards the central nervous system CNS. Rabies virus uses the nerve pathways to reach the central nervous system CNS. Central Nervous System Infection Once the virus reaches the CNS, it primarily targets nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. The virus's ability to infect nerve cells is facilitated by its interaction with specific receptors on the surface of these nerve cells. Neurological Disruption The virus begins to replicate within nerve cells, leading to inflammation and damage to the nervous tissue. This disruption of normal neural function is responsible for the characteristic symptoms of rabies, including agitation, confusion, paralysis, and spasms. Spread within CNS. 
The virus rapidly spreads within the CNS, causing inflammation and affecting multiple areas of the brain. This widespread involvement contributes to the diverse neurological symptoms seen in rabies patients. Neurological damage caused by the virus's replication and spread within the central nervous system leads to the severe symptoms associated with rabies. Fatal Outcome Without prompt medical intervention, rabies is almost always fatal once clinical symptoms appear. Death usually occurs within a few days to weeks after symptom onset due to respiratory failure or other complications arising from the severe neurological damage caused by the virus. If you get bitten by an animal that might have rabies, there's a chance to stop the disease from spreading in your body. But you have to get the right treatment quickly, before the rabies virus goes into your brain and spinal cord. But once the rabies virus reaches and establishes itself within the central nervous system CNS, the disease becomes much more difficult to treat and almost always fatal. What are the symptoms of rabies? The progression of rabies symptoms can be categorized into two main forms, the furious form and the paralytic form. It's important to note that once the clinical signs of rabies appear, the disease is almost always fatal. Here are the typical symptoms associated with rabies. Furious form of rabies. Fever and malaise. The initial symptoms can resemble those of the flu, including fever, malaise, and weakness. Agitation and anxiety. As the rabies virus affects the brain, patients often become agitated, anxious, and restless. They may exhibit erratic behavior and may be more prone to aggression. Hallucinations. Delirium and hallucinations are common, often leading to bizarre behavior. These hallucinations can contribute to heightened agitation and confusion. Hydrophobia. A characteristic symptom of rabies is hydrophobia, an intense fear of water. Swallowing becomes painful and difficult, and even the sight or sound of water can trigger spasms and distress. Excessive salivation. Also known as foaming at the mouth, individuals with rabies experience excessive production of saliva due to impaired swallowing. Hyperactivity. Increased physical activity, sometimes accompanied by periods of exhaustion, is common in the furious form of rabies. Difficulty breathing. The infection spreads to muscles responsible for breathing, causing difficulty in breathing and spasms. Paralytic form of rabies. Weakness and paralysis. In the paralytic form, weakness and paralysis are more pronounced than aggressive behavior. Muscle weakness progresses, eventually leading to full paralysis. Lethargy. Individuals in the paralytic form often appear lethargic, experiencing extreme fatigue and difficulty moving. Difficulty swallowing. Similar to the furious form, individuals in the paralytic form also experience difficulty swallowing and excessive saliva production. Respiratory failure. Paralysis spreads to muscles involved in breathing, leading to respiratory failure and death. How to diagnose rabies. Clinical assessment. Medical professionals evaluate the patient's clinical symptoms, medical history, and potential exposure to animals that could carry the rabies virus. Symptoms such as hydrophobia, fear of water, aggression, and neurological abnormalities can raise suspicion of rabies. Direct Fluorescent Antibody DFA, Test This is the most common and reliable diagnostic test for rabies. A sample of brain tissue is taken from the deceased animal or human suspected of having rabies, and it is examined using DFA to detect the presence of rabies virus antigens. RT-PCR. This molecular test detects the genetic material of the rabies virus if present in the sample. It's often used alongside the DFA test to confirm the diagnosis. Immunohistochemistry, IHC, in cases where brain tissue samples are unavailable, immunohistochemistry can be used on post-mortem tissue samples to detect the presence of rabies virus antigens. Computed tomography, court, or magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, these imaging techniques might be used to examine the brain for signs of inflammation or other abnormalities associated with rabies infection. What are the treatments for rabies? Once clinical symptoms of rabies appear, the disease is almost universally fatal. There is no cure for rabies once symptoms become evident. This is why the focus of rabies management lies in its prevention, primarily through rabies vaccinations and timely post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, for those who have been potentially exposed to the rabies virus. Pre-exposure vaccination. Pre-exposure rabies vaccination is recommended for individuals at high risk of exposure to the rabies virus, such as veterinarians, animal handlers, and travelers traveling to regions where rabies is endemic. The pre-exposure vaccination involves a series of shots that stimulate the immune system to produce antibodies against the rabies virus. This vaccination provides protection before potential exposure occurs. Post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, PEP is the recommended treatment for individuals who have been potentially exposed to the rabies virus, such as through a bite, scratch, or contact with infected saliva. PEP involves a combination of rabies vaccinations and, in some cases, rabies immune globulin, RIG, administration. RIG contains rabies-specific antibodies that provide immediate but temporary protection. 
How to Prevent Rabies Vaccinate Pets Ensure that all your pets, including dogs, cats, and ferrets, are up to date on their rabies vaccinations. Regular vaccinations not only protect your pets but also prevent potential transmission to humans. Avoid Stray Animals Avoid contact with unfamiliar or stray animals, especially those that exhibit unusual behavior, appear sick, or are acting aggressively. Wildlife Caution Do not approach, handle, or feed wild animals, including bats, raccoons, skunks, and foxes. Appreciate them from a safe distance. Educate your community. Spread awareness about rabies within your community. Educate others about the risks of rabies, how it's transmitted, and how to prevent it. Protect yourself. If you work in professions that involve potential exposure to animals, like veterinarians or animal control workers, use appropriate protective gear and follow safety protocols. Secure trash. Securely seal trash cans to prevent attracting wild animals that could carry the virus. This minimizes the risk of human-wildlife interaction. Prompt medical attention. If you are bitten or scratched by an animal, especially one that could potentially carry rabies, seek medical attention immediately. Pre-exposure vaccination. If you are at high risk of exposure due to your occupation or travel to areas where rabies is prevalent, consider getting pre-exposure rabies vaccinations. Vaccinate livestock. In agricultural settings, ensure that your livestock, such as cows, horses, and sheep, are properly vaccinated against rabies. Control stray animal populations. Supporting or advocating for responsible animal control measures can help prevent the spread of rabies by reducing interactions between humans and potentially infected animals. Conclusion. While rabies is almost universally fatal once symptoms appear, it can be prevented through vaccination and proper medical care following potential exposure. Thank you for joining us today to unravel the mysteries of rabies. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening content.